Hello and welcome. This is India Today's green screen room and from here I can transport you to anywhere else and today I take you to Himachal Pradesh. It's also called the land of God, the Dev Bhumi, but this is where you may be planning your winter vacation. But before that winter storm comes in, the political temperature is rising because the Netas are mudslinging each other because it is the Himachal Pradesh Assembly Elections. Five points that you need to know about the upcoming polls. जय माता नैना देविया श्रीमती प्रियंका गांधी आम आदमी पार्टी का सीटिया के बदौर कोई नहीं कांग्रेस भ्रष्टाचारियों को छोड़ेंगे नहीं so first things first how many seats does himachal pradesh assembly have it is 68 What does that mean with regard to previous elections? The Bharatiya Janata Party won a thumping majority of 44 seats. The Congress Party managing 21. Even interestingly, the Communist Party managed one seat though in the Himachal Pradesh elections. So our first question Who are the contenders? Ever since Himachal Pradesh has started to vote, it's always been a battle between the Congress and the BJP. What does that mean? Since 1985, no government has repeated a second consecutive term. It may sound strange, but it's true. No party has again come back to government in Himachal Pradesh, and this has left even the sharpest pundits guessing. But is that likely to change this time because the Bharatiya Janata Party is campaigning extensively and aggressive in Himachal Pradesh leading with Prime Minister Narendra Modi who's a star campaigner in Himachal Pradesh Pehle Uttar Pradesh mein Uttarakhand mein yahi katha thi ki har 5 saal ke baad sarkar badli jayegi Uttar Pradesh ne Uttarakhand ne us sari soch ko hi badal diya aur sarkar sthir hone ki disha mein उन्होंने अपना निर्णय दोहराया ऑल्सो जेपी नड्डा हु पार्टी प्रेसिडेंट और इसलिए हम कहते हैं उत्तर प्रदेश में उत्तराखंड में मणिपुर में गोवा में सरकार हमारी है और अब हिमाचल और गुजरात की बारी है Union Minister Anurag Thakur who's also from the hill state Humne janta ke liye zameen par kaam kiya hai 5 varsh kendra pradesh ki sarkar ne puri tarah samarpit rah kar kaam kiya hai aur main aapko vishwas dilata hu kendra pradesh ki sarkar aapke vikas ke liye aur himachal pradesh ko aage badhane ke liye koi kasar nahi chhodegi baat ka pakka bharosa main aapko dilane aaya hu and the chief minister jairam thakur jo aapne kaha hai wo kiya hai jo aapne manga hai wo diya aur main daave ke sath keh sakta hu himachal pradesh ke itihas mein aaj tak agar sabse zyada kisi is jile ko kisi ne agar diya hai to hamari sarkar ne diya hai इफ यू वंडरिंग हु कुड बी टेकिंग ऑन द भारतीय जनता पार्टी द कांग्रेस पार्टी लाइक आई सेड अर्लियर इज द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश इलेक्शन बट दिस टाइम If I can say metaphorically, even the wind gushing through the hills are making more noise than the grand old party. Priyanka Gandhi Vadra started her election campaign in Solan but that's mid October. Fir se Congress jo aayegi purani pension wo laayegi aapki tankha ka hoga sahara to ab paise leke bari hai pareshan har karmchari hai Himachal ka आज यहाँ पे खड़े होते हुए मैं आपसे कहना चाहती हूँ 
कि जब कांग्रेस की सरकार हिमाचल प्रदेश में बनेगी तो दो निर्णय एकदम पहले मंत्रिमंडल की बैठक पे होंगे सबसे पहला एक लाख जो सरकारी नौकरियां हैं जो पद हैं वो भरे जाएंगे और नौकरियां मिलेंगी आपको दूसरी चीज कि ये जो ओपीएस है पुराना पेंशन वो भी उसी मंत्रिमंडल के बैठक में तय किया जाएगा और आपके सामने लाएंगे वो आपको वापस मिलेगा Many are saying it's already too little, too late. But the biggest challenge to the Congress party is coming from within itself. Four times Chief Minister Veer Bhadra Singh passed away in 2021. He was the veteran for Congress in Himachal. And now his wife Pratibha and the son Vikramaditya are taking the party ahead. But the trouble does not seem to end there because the bigger blow to the Congress party came when its own working president and the closest confidant of Veer Bhadra Singh, Harsh Mahajan, instead jumped ship to the bjp par aaj congress disha heen ho gayi hai aaj congress ko leaderless ho gayi hai na hi grassroots level pe kaam karne ka kaam karne ke liye karya karta hai ab veer badr jinge ke jaane ke baad kuch bhi nahi raha chut but neta chut bhaiye neta aur maa bete ka raj jaise yahan maa bete ka raj hai फैमिली फ्रीडम हो रहा है इवन सीनियर लीडर्स लाइक सुरेश चंदेल हैव एग्जिटेड द डोर मेनी आर सेइंग दैट दिस इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ लैक ऑफ विजन ऑफ द कांग्रेस पार्टी फॉर द हिल स्टेट सो इफ नॉट द कांग्रेस पार्टी इज देयर एन अल्टरनेटिव अरविंद केजरीवाल आम आदमी पार्टी हैज थ्रोन इट्स हैट इनटू द रिंग राइडिंग फ्रॉम द गेम्स ऑफ विक्टोरी इन पंजाब they intend to now make inroads into unfamiliar territories but as of now it appears that the aap is more focused in gujarat bharat mata ki bharat mata ki that's another state heading soon for assembly elections गुजरात वालों एक में से डेढ़ सौ सीट दे दो सारे वादे पूरे करें सो इज देर एनी डिसाइसिव फैक्टर फॉर हिमाचल प्रदेश इलेक्शन देर इज द कांगड़ा डिस्ट्रिक्ट Now we know that Shimla is the capital of the state but it is Kangra that holds political significance. Let me take you through the numbers. 15 assembly seats out of 68 in Kangra. But history tells us that whoever won in Kangra has taken over and formed government in the state. For example, BJP won about 11 in 2017 formed the government. Congress party won 10 in 2012 formed the government again. It's been a trend since 1977. And now for the final point when does the state go for elections As expected but also exciting as it sounds is just one phase of polling And that's on the 12th of November the verdict a month later on the 8th of December Now the political debate is soaring netas are at each other's throat But the voter will have to have a wait of one long month to know if their favorite politician has made it to the government. So for now the script to Himachal Pradesh could be unlike the past. The Bharatiya Janata Party are a favorite. They look like a strong contender, but if there is one thing that we have learned from the past that is that the voters can spring a surprise. So I leave you with this question can 2022 be any different